Hello, welcome to the Fellas Wise Society. My name is Brown. I think that it's very important that we address the issue that basically we need to address the elephant in the room. Women need to stop believing that their person will be missing something. And this belief, I can see where it's coming from. I, I actually have an understanding of why. Because you have been around maybe a couple where he is well off and he doesn't look good to you. So you have built this belief in your head that you're not going to be able to get a man who's a provider, who's a manly man, who is a giver, unless he's missing something. The idea that your person would be missing something is a limited bit or belief. And we need to address the elephant in the room. We need to address why we believe that when we receive something, we get the desires of our heart that it will be missing something or lacking something, and or we have to go through something in order to receive it. And that is because the the collective consciousness of people, you know, not people. Let's not say people. Let's not say people. Let's say the collective consciousness is mostly full of trauma. We truly do believe that if a person receives something or has something that they had to go through trauma, they had to go through something that's harmful in order to receive it. Think about the thinking that majority of us have. Have you not heard that if a person is rich, they must be unhappy? That if a person is poor, they must be happy? See, these are all limiting beliefs that we all collect to have until you start doing your inner work. And so you start going on that journey and addressing your own beliefs. So to believe that your person is going to be missing something or that you have to go through something traumatic or that you got to kiss a lot of frogs in order to get to the print, these are all limiting beliefs. And instead of continuing to go along with that rhetoric or that narrative, we need to start addressing our beliefs. Our beliefs influence our actions. Our beliefs influence our behaviors. Our beliefs drive our actions. Your belief controls so much of your reality that you need to start addressing, why do I believe that? Why do I believe that in order for me to get to the prince, I have to kiss a lot of frogs? Why do I believe that I have to go through so much trauma in order to find my person? Why do I believe that if I am wealthy, I am going to be depressed? There was a whole trend on TikTok about if you are wealthy, would you rather be wealthy and depressed or would you rather be poor and happy? And these are all limiting beliefs that's being pushed upon us. So we need to start confronting the beliefs that we have because it's really not, uh, it's not even realistic. It isn't because I've always said, I've always been free. So I've never been, I've never attracted ugly men in the first place. They may be ugly to you, but they're gorgeous to me. And that's what really matters. So I've never attracted ugly men in the first place. So why would I really concern myself about my person not being attractive? Because I know that if I'm a, per, a woman that takes care of herself and is into self-love, I am going to be able to vibrate at the highest level and attract my compliment. So why would the man that is my person be unattractive? It is not even possible. So we need to release this, this belief that you're gonna, he is gonna be missing something. You need to release this belief that you can't get the desires of your heart. You need to release this belief that you have to go through and kiss a lot of frogs in order to get to a friend. You need to release this belief that once you have everything that you want, that there's something around the corner, that there's some type of trauma, there's something that's going to happen because you have to go through it to get to it. So we have to release these limited beliefs because the more that we have these beliefs, excuse me, these beliefs, the more that we have these beliefs, they shape our reality. So it's not, it's not even surprising that if you have a belief that you have to go through some traumatic, that you have to uh, kiss a lot of frogs to get to the print, that you have to actually kiss a lot of frogs to get to the print because that is your belief. That is what you believe in. And since our brains are a beautiful thing, they're always trying to figure out how to conserve energy. So what they do, they tend to ignore uh, everything else and only confirm 
or gravitate to our own biases. So we have this bias, we have this belief, we're going to gravitate toward those things. So you have to realize it, that's what we do. And if you decide that the only way that you're going to get through or the only thing where you're going to have the desires of your heart is if you go through something traumatic, you will. And how do I know this? Baby, you are not alone. I've had to go through and unwrap all of my beliefs that I didn't know I had. I didn't realize that I still had a belief that that once you haven't accomplished something by a certain age, that you can't accomplish it. I didn't know that that was lingering in, in the background. I've had to unravel uh, that belief and go through that process. And it's very, uh, I've actually been doing it now, you know, I didn't know I had that. I didn't know that with the older you get, I had a belief the older you get, if you haven't accomplished certain things that you can't have that or you can't accomplish it. I didn't know that. Uh, because and how did I know I had it? Go, being on social media. I'm just going to be very authentic and open. Being on social media has made, made me realize I had some beliefs that I need to unravel and I need to face and I need to take care, for my, take care of because uh, I really thought that since I didn't start back in 2016, which is when my original calling to come on social media and I ignored it, that I couldn't do it now. Remember, I tell you always that what you, you only did what you could do at that time with the information that you had. And there's no ever, there's never a reason to ever look backwards. But I didn't realize I had a belief that I, since I was older, that maybe social media was overcrowded and sex, oversaturated, that maybe there wasn't a place for me. I had to unravel that belief. I had to do my due diligence and start journaling. Why do I have this belief that because I am older? that social media isn't for me because I didn't get on the, the bandwagon when it first appeared because that's the thing with beautiful thing with age. I watch YouTube become what it is. I watch other social media platforms become what it is. Heck, I watch the computer become what it is. And when I didn't jump on those things immediately, I didn't know I had a belief that it wasn't for me because I'm older and I had to work through that so that I can begin to I thought it was just procrastination. That's what I thought it was. And then I started digging deeper and going deeper and realized it's not procrastination. You just really believe that because you're a little bit older, that social media isn't for you, that you're starting late, that it's oversaturated, and you have to break down these beliefs. And the way I did it, I started journaling. And that's the best way to start confronting these beliefs and figuring out how to change them. And then once you know that they're there, then you start from back then with the truth. Then you start coming back then with other stories of, in my case, and other stories of seeing older women be successful on social media. So you start combating the belief with the truth. You start combating the belief with uh, inspiration, motivation for your, from your peers. When you see other people do it, baby, then you can do it. If you see older women get married, then you can get married. If you see older women doing things that you desire to do, then you can do it also. And there's nothing that's going to be given to them that you cannot have also. Never forget that. And that is the thing that helped me to combat my own beliefs because I didn't know I had it. I'm just being honest. I didn't know I had it. And, you know, I'm always on the path of learning. I'm always a student. Sometimes you got to know when you need to address the elephant in the room for yourself and do the, your work. Uh, but that is what you need to do. Make sure that you're not operating in limited beliefs. Make sure you're not thinking, oh, my gosh, because of the fact that I want this and this out of this man, that I can't have this. I can't have him to be attractive and to have a provider mindset. I can't have him to, and we're not, when I say attractive, I'm not talking about looks. He can be attractive, attractive to you, but he may not be attractive to other people. And that's another thing you need to think about also. All of the other couples that you're seeing and you're, you know, evaluating, you're comparing, you're thinking about, oh, well, she married a other guy. He may not be ugly to her. He's attractive to her. And that is enough. The thing is, you cannot have, that's the limiting belief, to believe that you're going to have to, to settle, in which I don't like that word. I feel like the word settling is like a, a non-negotiable for feminine energy. We don't like that word. It really <laughs> throws us off. So I don't even want to use the word selling, but being with that person, you don't have to worry about uh, their looks. They will be attractive 
to you because you need to work on your beliefs because you're not going to get less than the desires of your heart. And you have to believe this as a spiritual being having a human experience. And that is what you need to do. Work on your mindset, work on your beliefs because your beliefs direct your, your life. Your beliefs create your reality. And I will see you all on the next one. You have a great day.